Hello and welcome to this video on power and focal length. You'll see that Primrose is here to be very helpful as usual. Right, the first thing you need to know is that lens power is measured in dioptres. When I'm talking about power here, I am not talking about electrical power. They have the same symbol P, but electrical power is measured in watts. And lens power is measured in dioptres. If it is a converging lens, it's going to have a positive value. And if it's a diverging lens, it's going to have a negative value. Now our equation for this is simply P, which is our lens power in diopters, is equal to 1 over F, which is our focal length in metres. Now just to recap really quickly, um, if you're not familiar with any of this, go and check out my videos on the eye or correcting vision. That this is our lens in the eye and it's supposed to focus images on the retina back here. But sometimes people have images focusing here, here, or sometimes even over here. Now, if you've got two people that have images focusing here and here, they're going to need quite different glasses. There are two things you can do to change the uh, type of glass in the glasses uh, where the image actually focuses. So you can change the curvature. A curvier lens is going to be a shorter focal length or you can change your refractive index so if it has a high refractive index is also going to have a shorter focal length so what does this mean in practice it means that if you need really strong lenses because your image is focusing here not here you used to have to wear big fat thick ugly glasses now, you can buy fancy glasses which have a high refractive index, which have a nice thin frame, a nice thin lens. And this is all because of the advances um, brought on by physics, it means you can have thin glasses and nobody will know how bad your eyesight is.